It is not accidental that on the soil of India, the great space powers, the United States, the USSR and France, are collaborating with us at the equatorial range near Tumba. And even the United Nations sponsorship of this range is not merely a matter of form, but constitutes an umbrella under which, regardless of political differences, nations can collaborate in the peaceful uses of outer space. In my uh, opinion, the aspect of space research, which I would like to stress most, is in relation to the national capability, the self-confidence that this will generate. And if I uh, were to give my own evaluation of this, I think the benefits of these far outweigh uh, all the rest that we have been talking about. Yes, we set this up because uh, about five years ago we realized that uh, this was going to be one of the most important uh, peaceful applications of outer space mm -hmm. and would have a profound influence uh, on uh, future development of communications and mass communication in this country. Communication and mass communication, That's that right. means telephone and television. Yes, very much so. Particularly in a country like India where the large mass of people who have to be motivated are illiterate. It is very important to, I think, have the information uh, input um, as an integral part of the developmental process. Uh -huh. And I think a powerful technique like an audiovisual presentation through television uh, can be one of the most important uh, motivations, uh, a catalyst uh -huh. for action. India has half a million villages. And if we want to really uh, create the counter forces to urbanization, which everybody agrees has its own great problems, if we want to see that some of our best people continue and can men have a meaningful qualitatively rich experience, even if they are in villages, then we can use these new techniques mm -hmm. to bridge that uh, information gap, and that contact with the wider sphere in the world. Mm -hmm. He proposed that we use this new technology of mass communications for broadly educational and developmental purposes for specially directed areas of our country.
hiding underneath all these forms that you see as you look around. So far, so good. But the truth is funnier than that. It is that you are looking right at the brilliant light now. That the experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. In other words, when you really start to see things, and you go into the nature of what it is to see, what vision is, or what smell is, or what touch is, you realize that that 